Good morning, you guys. FSC Trucking. This morning, it's going to be a real simple video. We're just basically going to take that Broderson crane behind me, deliver in an Oshkosh, and then come back. We got some maintenance to do on a truck. We got some maintenance to do on a trailer. Once we get ahead and unload, finish our obligations, we'll be able to get ahead and get started on a few, eh, kind of, sort of larger projects on the truck and one pain in the neck one on the trailer. So with that, let's go ahead and get all well fired up, and get on out of here. While Orwell warms up and airs up, let's get and show you what we got. This here is a Broderson crane we picked up down at a job site that C.R. Meyer was working on down in Macon, Georgia. So what they do usually is they have a yard up here in Wisconsin where they rotate their equipment. That's where when they're done with their equipment, they bring it back, rotate it, service it, whatever, and get it ready for the next job and then send it out. So we'll bring the equipment back when they're done with it. So what we did was we picked it up in Macon, brought it here because it was over the weekend, and now today's Monday, we're gonna go ahead and drop it off. So it's just a big old Broderson crane course. This is on my new to me, double drop, you know, doing an XL, specialized, whatever you wanna call it, but it's my double drop trailer. Obviously being that it is a used trailer, there is some work that needs to be done on it. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that once we unload. That'll be on FSC Truck Shop. That's where you'll find that kind of content where we work on the trailer, work on our trucks, Another thing. Also thinking about getting another truck for the channel. Um, that one I did sell. However, it's still here. So I don't know what's going to happen with the future of that truck. I don't know. I might wind up uh, maybe buying it back for a partial price. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe that would go with a nice V12 in it. Not the Detroit though. We'll see. Either way, let's let Orwell do its thing. Get the trailer, the truck aired up, and get on out of here. And we're going to go unload. I'm gonna put the big old Hemi right behind Shaka. By the way, that's Matt's car. He blew it up. That'll be on FSC Speed Shop. We're working on that. I mean, I gotta get caught up on Speed Shop content right now. But with that, it's enough yapping. Let's get working. Sorry, boys and girls. I'm not sure how I did it, but I managed to leave at home the microphone for the inside GoPro. So audio might not be the best just have to deal with it just getting the phone set up go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button especially the like you should already be subscribed but if you're not why wouldn't you be who else is running around with a cab over pulling revenue free
pickup truck known as popcorn back. <coughs> because winter's coming up, the game plan is I'd rather have popcorn up and running than the drift car or the drag car, whatever you want to call it. Ain't been drag racing it. But we'd rather have the pickup truck done rather than the car before winter to keep Mr. Beefy. Now, Mr. Beefy does appear to be a big clap down. However, that's that 98 Dodge Ram that he drives. However, I bought it out of Idaho. I did vlogs with it a while videos back to bring it here. I bought it out of Idaho because it wasn't rusty. It was a little beat up with high mileage, but it was not rusty. Either way, I'd like to see that truck not run around in the wintertime. So we'll use the 81 Ford for him in the wintertime. So I think we're gonna try to get that truck back up and running. I gotta figure out how exactly I'm gonna work all this. So that's the plan for today. The automotive side of life is on FSC Speed Shop. That's where you'll find us working on that car, working on the truck, the pickup truck, whatever. FSC Truck Shop is where you find the heavy duty trucks. This Peterbilt, the other Peterbilt. Um, potentially buying another truck in the next couple of weeks. That's where you'll find that content. That's over at FSC Truck Shop. And then of course there's the complete other side of me, almost an alter ego so to speak which is FSC Railroad. I've always followed railroad and trains and everything railroad since I was a kid. I kind of got into that following steam trains that I had the money to do a little traveling and visit other trains such as we saw the big boy 4014 road on Strasburg more times than I can remember as a child because we lived close to it. Seen other ones like an 1880 train out there in South Dakota, so that's where we're putting that content, FSC Railroad. So we got four FSC brands for you. Go ahead and check them out, like, subscribe the ball. It's just more of me, my family, and the rest of us. Good stuff, all good stuff.
approaching a railroad crossing. Yep. 